Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifting, sparkly eyeshadows. And I love to try out anything that is shifty or sparkly in any sort of formulation. And today I'm going to be talking about some cream multi-chrome eyeshadows from Reza Beauty. You might have previously seen them featured in a reel, featured some of their foils. These are so fun. They have so many different styles and I've been having so much fun with these. They also have lashes and a blush palette and an eyeshadow palette, I believe, but I did get just one pair of their lashes. They have a little flare of green on the outside and they are so cute. But today I'm going to be talking about the cream gels and they have five different shades. They have a green, they have two more iridescent shades, and then these two, which are basically like peachy pinky colors. So I really wanted to try them out. I was super, super curious. They look absolutely gorgeous in their photos and in the videos, and I was just so intrigued. I feel like lately I've been really into these kinds of liquid forms of multi-chrome, especially because usually they're just super easy to use. I will be applying them with a silicone applicator as well as a brush just to show you different application methods and how they work with each of them. And then I will give you some my thoughts at the end of the video so let's get right into the swatches and then the three looks priming with the natasha denona eyeshadow primer i think my mic might die during this so we're gonna try to make it a little speedy i really feel like i'm almost finished with this eye primer so we'll just try and just scrape out the rest I'm gonna be using the Blend Money Search Palette. I do have an affiliate code with Blend Money in case you're interested. I'm gonna be going in with energy right into the crease. I want this pop of neon blue. So I'm just first stamping it on and then I'm going to slowly start blending out the edges. Which is usually how I prefer to work with neons. You definitely don't really wanna go in blending the neons they're just they just do perform differently from regular pigments taking linger on the outer corner deepen it up just going back in with a little bit more this is like almost a black basically but it's got a teal tint to it and i'm going to take a little bit of energy just on the edge of that Kind of want the energy shade just running throughout the look. But I want it to be blended out here. So I'm going back in a little bit more with Linger. I'm going to take Linger just a little bit under my lower lash line, but not too far. And I'm going to take Linger a little bit into my crease about like halfway just a little bit so I forgot to turn the camera on when I was applying it on this side so I'm going to be going in with lucid and applying it on this eye so you can see but here's what lucid looks like once it's dried down I do feel like it takes a bit to dry down I'm going to be taking some off the cap because there's quite a bit on the cap just about this much and we'll see how far I can go with this and I think I was saying that I prefer formulas when they're thicker because they just seem to always be more opaque versus thinner formulas seem to be a little bit more, you know, watery, translucent, etc, etc. Um, but I do still feel like I see a little bit of patchiness there. But here's just a little bit applied. I'm actually going to go in on this side and apply just a little bit more while the other side dries. I feel like right here, it's a little patchy. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I feel like it's gonna be one of those like super up close things. But I'm gonna make sure that this really dries down. Okay, so here it is with about two coats. I do feel like it's it looks a little bit like chunkier on the lid compared to this side definitely a bit smoother but also it's a little bit more sheer so you can see the difference you can kind of build it up and you can go in and just go in with a little bit i am going to even them out just because that would be really strange otherwise it just really goes on and on and on like you need the smallest amount but 
it is pretty thick and once you thin it out it does dry down pretty quickly but I do feel like it stays wet it feels wet on the lids for a bit I'm gonna go in with Perla on the inner corner using the silicone tip applicator oh yeah that works so beautifully there in this eyeshadow it goes to like a blue and then a purple it's so beautiful I'm going to be doing a purple look so I'm going in with the serge palette and I'm basically going to be using these three mattes to create a look and then I'm going to be going in with Perla. It has a lot of purple blue in it so I'm really curious to see how it layers and I want to put it on top of the dark purple. I'm really curious to see how it's going to look over a darker matte eyeshadow that's not necessarily black but purple so I'll see if I could bring out the purple more or what. I use the other kind of iridescent shade, the shade Star, all over the lid in a reel. And I used it over, I can't remember now, it was some sort of dark eyeshadow. And it just ended up looking gold. Like, I didn't really see much, um, much shifts in that. That's why I would try it over a colorful eyeshadow. So I went in with Beckon. And next I'm going in with Stay. Just to deepen that up right into the crease. And I'm just going to be actually stamping that in here. And then I will be using a different brush to blend it out. And I'm going to go in with Covet. And that's going to go all over my lid. I really don't want much fallout. Oh yeah. Super smoky. Just going to pop that right here. And now I'm going to be blending the crease. I'm also taking this under my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take up take a little bit of Beckon. Just put it on the edges. I'm gonna take white out right above that. A little goes a long way with these mattes, as you can see. It will keep just blending and blending and blending. And I did definitely didn't mean to blow it up that much, but it's fine. I do feel like I need to go back in with a deeper shade just out here in the corner. So I'm going to be going in with Perla and I'm going to be using a synthetic brush. This one is from Rose and Ben and it's the C30. And whoa, this is kind of crazy. It's super, super thick formula. And we're just going to see how this applies with a brush compared to the silicone applicator. Ooh, that's really nice too. A little bit is going a long way. Yeah, that looks really gold again on the lid. I feel like that actually went on maybe even better than with the silicone applicator. Um, I do feel like I got like a harsh edge here, so I'm going to go in with just like a little bit on my finger and see if I can kind of just make the edge less harsh so here's the third finished look and i'm going to be going in with this column right here with the pinks and the red and I'm going to be using King and Magic. I feel like they're really really similar so I really want to see these on the lid next to each other. Going in with Juicy right in the crease first. Just a little bit more and I'm going to use Cutout to blend the edge of that. I'm back in with Juicy. This is such a bright orange. And then I'm taking Grunge on the outer corner. I'm gonna take it a little bit into my crease, but not much. I'm gonna take a little bit of Juicy on the brush. And I'm going into feathering out the edges of this outer corner. 
going in with cutout back in with grunge I'm gonna extend it a little further a little bit of juicy I'm gonna take juicy under my lower lash line and then going in with grunge so King looks like it's lighter, so I'm going to use that on the inner portion. And I'm going to be using the Rosenbin brush again like I did on the other eye. Look how thick that is. <laughs> Definitely want to make sure you're shutting these really tightly. Picked up this much. It's probably going to be too much, actually. I'm going to do like a fake half-cut crease. I'm only going to take it about halfway because I want to put on the other shade next to it. Definitely see that it's a little transparent. So now I picked up Magic. Going next to that. So I think you can see this one's a little bit more, it's a little darker, but it's also more pink versus this is more like peach. So there's a little bit of a difference, but probably I would say just pick one or the other. Here's the third finished look. So I haven't fully wear tested these for like 8 to 12 hours, but I did wear them for a couple of hours and I had no issues. I do think though that if you put on too much, just like with anything that is liquid, whether they're like gel flakies or gel multi-homes or whatever, definitely recommend using a smaller amount and then making sure that it dries down before opening your lid because otherwise it's just going to dry with a crease already on your lid and a little bit goes a long way. So like I mentioned, I think you're going to be totally fine just using a little bit at a time and not having any issues they spread out pretty easily and pretty quickly you saw either or works the silicone applicator or the brush I actually feel like the brush was maybe just a little bit easier it was a synthetic brush but I'm probably just gonna be using those interchangeably I think these are just super fun to use for graphic liner looks if you just want to overlay these over a black wing or you want to do a half cut crease full cut crease or just in general use these on the lid with no fallout nice and easy so I'm gonna talk about each of the shades because at this point I have used all of them I first wanted to talk about the shade King and magic if, as you saw in the swatches as well as in the second look I think I did with these they look very very similar they're a little bit translucent so you can definitely layer these on top of different colorful eyeshadows or a black eyeshadow etc but I don't think you need both of these colors I would just pick one which one ever one appeals to you a little bit more um, as you saw in the swatches one is just a little bit peachier and one is a little bit more pink but they're very very similar onto the iridescent shades these I was so excited for these look absolutely absolutely mind-blowingly gorgeous however I feel like the shift doesn't really translate as much on the lids I used both of these I believe I used I forget which shade I used in a reel and then the other one I used for the second look and you kind of see that it looked very very gold which is exactly what happened with the other shade when I used it I definitely feel like I need to play with these a little bit more and maybe thin them out a bit but these are just super fun especially on the inner corner I really want to use these as highlighters as well I think these would work great as just tapping on a little bit and letting it dry down and last is the lucid shade and I love love the shade so much when I first opened it I really couldn't see much of a shift but I feel like when I put it on the lid I could really see the shift it's a little bit more like a duochrome, but it's so, so dimensional, so shiny, so gorgeous. I love this. I definitely can see myself reaching for this a lot more. This kind of color is just really like something I love to use. I was wearing this shade in this week's Multichrome Monday where I talked about green multichrome recommendations and it was an amazing collaboration with Teresa is Dead. It was so exciting and a lot of people asked me what I was wearing on the eyes and this is what it was. Super, super beautiful. I do have to say this though because I always mention it whenever anything is in a jar pot like this and it's wet you have to make sure you're really really getting your use out of it because they will dry out it's just inevitable especially in a jar there's something about it no matter how tightly you close it and you know how far away from the sun or in a cold place you put it and don't get me wrong that will definitely help but these are going to dry out so that is something to keep in mind is really get one or two shades and just really really get your use out of them usually though with these kinds of products just like the ColourPop jelly much eyeshadows you can just add in a little 
little bit of distilled water and it will revive them. Of course, I haven't tried it with this formulation yet, but I did we just wanna throw that in there. Really make sure that you're shutting these really tightly. You're keeping the little like seal that's on top of here closed and you're keeping this out of like warmth basically. And so those are all my thoughts on these cream gels from Rosa Beauty. I'm really, really intrigued by this brand and I can't wait to see what more they come out with. But let me know your thoughts on these and what color is your favorite? Have you picked these up? What is your experience with them? I would love to know. And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. There's so much indie makeup content, lots and lots of tutorials up my channel and much more to come. You don't want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.